Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host, HK1990, and this is HK1990 Gaming right here on YouTube. Alright, we're diving right back into Atomic Hearts again. Um, uh, got here. Oh no! Our friend! How can I help you, bro? You have no arms, bro! Alright, no enemies in here. Electro capsule. You can use the electro capsule to restore energy. Access them via the radio menu or in your inventory. I mean, that could be useful. Alright, let's see what we got here. Listen, Kareem, I'm serious. Someone has been walking around the exhibits at night. Yes, I know the cameras don't show anyone, but I saw a glowing silhouette. I wasn't drunk. You know I haven't had a drop since the war. Thing just walked right out of the wall, almost like it was a will-o'-the-wisp, and then strode past the exhibits and vanished into the darkness. A few tour guides have also reported seeing someone. They say they saw a woman flying through the dark, crying. If this is someone's idea of a joke, I won't stand for it. You know me. I'll knock their dang teeth out. I don't care who they are. But if not... Anyway, I refuse to work overnight shifts, or I won't be responsible for my actions. To most people, including employees and visitors, uh, we've already read this one. Have we? No. To most people, including employees and visitors, the VDNH is merely an interaction with interesting exhibits, but it's actually something much more complex. A testing ground for the psychological effects of technical innovations on museum goers with various levels of education. At the AOC, we analyze recordings of visitors' reactions in order to set priorities for fine tuning the appearance of robots and other related devices. The VDNH is a litmus test for how Soviet citizens react to the futuristic world they will soon inhabit. It is my duty to inform you that S. Latsdoskin is the director of. Lysetskaya Theater has adopted the hab habit of inviting his guests who frequently live his, leave his institution in a less than sober state to the VDNH. These loud, tipsy visitors have been behaving in an unacceptable fashion. However, since they are often high-ranking officials, there is no way to control them. Please find a way to prevent Lushkin's guests from entering the museum. Due to the direct conflict between S. Lotchkin, the manager of Liskitskata Theater, and our management staff, VDNH employees will no longer be given theater tickets as incentives. We cannot tolerate their behavior, comrades. Everyone knows that the theater has become a den of inquity under the pompous dandy's leadership. I frequently receive messages about what's happening backstage. Shield yourself and your subordinates from these orgus, vice, unworthy of a citizen. Wow. That's just the employees. Hey, bro. Where's your arms at, bro? I think I actually have one of your arms. Work. <laughs> Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. <laughs> Multi key activated. Now what? Wait, if she was in here, why didn't you help me open the door? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Cherishkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. 
A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center! What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Uh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. Oh. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine. Knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. Honestly, you really are, dude. And can we just talk about how terrible her voice is? Like, you would expect that much money, you would, you would have a darn good robot sound to it. Uh, oh, it's in English. That's cool. Um, the facility 3826 is labor achievement are respected throughout the motherland and immortalizing statues. Give me that hammer, bro. Where's this pedestal you talked about? Is that the pedestal? I put it up here. Oh. Oh, what's this? Extra delivery. Due to the expected influence of visitors on the tent, we ordered some additional items. Ice cream, 10 boxes. Soda, 200 liters. Bottled water, 150 liters. Oh, okay, yeah. Nothing super important there. Working with children. Children, especially young pioneers, are our most challenging audience. They're noisy and restless, and their counselors usually can't really control them. Getting them to play games with rewards or giving them tasks makes things a little easier for us. But working with this kind of audience requires a certain approach. Try to follow the route from the top floor to the bottom floor without stopping for long. Don't let children eat ice cream away from their group, especially near the exhibits. No children on the railing. If one of them breaks an arm or a leg, they can't go to Pavlov, since access to the medical area has been restricted until further notice. Don't let children hang around the beer route game area too long, and don't let them throw things into the whale. We had a had to fish two paper airplanes out of it last Wednesday. We've had to get kids down from the clouds at the Chalomi exhibit twice now. The cables are sturdy. They can hold them, but it's just not safe. Be mindful of this. Don't take the youngest children to Pavlov. It makes them cry. All in all, follow the rules and don't be afraid to lecture the counselors. Watching the, the kids is their job, not yours. That's darn tootin' right, lady. Oh, and I just want to talk about the fact that she she understands the horrible craziness that's happening around her. She just literally can't do anything about it. She's basically a common worker. <laughs> She's just like a regular worker. It's like, yeah, I know things are terrible, but I can't do anything about it. What am I doing here? Let's see.
plant. Did I, did I skip a room? So, about this Darwin test. Yes, I am always happy to help, Major. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praise and with their lives defend. <sighs> here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the spring's cheerful hymn. Be yourself. Strive and earn life. I love you and hope you love me in return. Gah, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Uh, uh, about the thing that represents art, could you be a little more specific? What allows music to reach our hearts? Uh-huh, right. Okay. Uh, I'd like to ask you about something else. I am always at your service. I have a few questions. Naturally, Major. I can tell you about all four floors of the exhibition. Chalamet, Pavlov, Vavilov, and Sahalin. What's on the Chelome floor? The first floor, Chelome, is dedicated to groundbreaking discoveries in the fields of robotics and innovative habitation complex construction, both in the air and underwater. Her mouth not moving really freaks me out. What exhibits are there on the Pavlov floor? The second floor, Pavlov, is dedicated to autonomous neural systems. This exhibit is a triumph of Soviet Biocybernetics and neurophysiology. The Vavilov floor. What's going on there? The third floor, Vavilov, is dedicated to progress in the fields of botany, genetics, and breeding of the very latest crop species. Oh, good. Tell me about the Sahalin floor. The Sahalin exhibition on the fourth floor is dedicated to deep sea ecosystem exploration and the development of faunistic complexes in various areas of the world's oceans. Unfortunately, the Sahalin exhibition is currently in storage mode and is off limits to visitors. That's that's perfectly fine. All right. So oh, here's a door. Can go in it. Got the hammer from there. Doesn't look like I go in there. Huh. Oh my god, was it the freaking radio? So about this Darwin test. Yes, I am always happy to help, Major. Put something cheerful on, would you? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, 
The superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. This whole thing is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds. But you're a robot. Still don't understand why you're not being hostile and trying to kill me. Although, I am very suspicious. And your little attitude back there makes me even more suspicious. What the heck is that? Would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal, like a beast to crush and dismember. And this one, it just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? She's gone off the loco end. Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. Please don't. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. <sighs> oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. Wait... There's a wide range of the lab tech models. <laughs> the ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the black lab tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated black lab techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. Uh, what? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking. You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. 
It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade. Oh, what was that? I'm waiting for one of these things to wake up and try to attack me. combat mode because you're such a little sweetie isn't that right aren't you precious woman have you lost your dang man these things are a pain here we are comrade the administrative control drive should be at this booth please establish the connection There we go. I had to look at her. That's my bad. <laughs> what you uh, what you Only doing? Try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? <laughs> Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. Does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Oh boy. Why do I have the sneakiest suspicion? This is just a huge trap. Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Yeah. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes. Please conclude all maintenance and proceed to your workstation. I mean, a palace of death. Oh gosh! I should, that should not have scared me like it did, but... Ugh. No. Stay in your hole. I guess we go down. Big hunk of trash. Oh, 
I'm stuck. No. No, laser man. Delicious. Yo, bro. Missing a couple of arms, a leg, and a whole head. Brilliant. even supposed to look I swear on my cooling unit these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room I'm on my way <laughs> wait she called them perverts <laughs> the robots Oh, they perverts! What could they possibly be doing? This place used to be really nice until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. Is this what the cities look like? Yeah, you didn't fool me for a second, little helicopter boy. Not for a second. Give me a brain. That thing. I'm glad I don't have to fight it. Got little robots coming out of it. A medical capsule. Uh, something, something didn't go right there. No, why? Why would you do that? That's terrifying. Just leave the head off of it. Jesus Christ, people. Oh God. That's gonna be a monstrosity. You know we're gonna have to fight it. What is this? Uh, rocket propelled missile thing? Okay, cool. Do you work? No. What? What's that noise? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, it exploded. That's cool. Oh my. No! I'm stuck again! Oh, frack sakes, man. You can't run out of mana in this game. There is no mana. Oh my god. Dude, getting stuck is the worst. Piece of crap. New scanning cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. This place used to be really nice. Until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. Not the hardest puzzle I've had to do, but I don't like them. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Fading data. What am I doing? Hey, Charlie. Why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who had the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody.
just die, dude. Jesus. Charles, what do the special neuro connectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuro connectors have the Greek letter Gamma on them and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh, I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuro connectors with discretionary authority were called Beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuro connectors. Enhanced gamma models, shaped like bracelets, were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed. Does this actually do anything? I don't think that's doing anything. Why? Why? Why does this game hate me so much? No, this is full dookie dook. But dookie dook, my, my man. Dookie dook. You can all suck it. That's what you can do. You can suck it. Um. Freaking god. That was bullshit. Straight up god. Freaking bullshit. No polite, no polite way of saying it. That is bullshit. Alright. Oh. Well, aren't they nice? They just put me right here. Shut up, you stupid robot. No, come here. Take the stupid axe. Take the freaking axe. Stupid piece of crap. You want some? You want some Chala Bean Giant, huh? Come here. Take some of this axe. Yeah, take it. Take it. Give me a give me a bits. 
stupid thing. you got. Bro, that, that made that a whole lot easier. You dead? <laughs> Make sure he's dead. Oh my god. I don't even know what the problem was. We, we took that like a champ. We show them what's what. Why are these pigs made out of gold, bro? Where are we trying to get to, bro? Can you get that? No. Oh, there's a door here. <clears throat> yep, super helpful. thought I guess whoa freaky deaky my guy all right now we just gotta find one that can help us get back up Actually, that's, that's no good, is it? What am I doing? Oh.
Alright, I don't understand how to get out of here and it's very frustrating. out there right I've never seen bots like these before no bro very dangerous in melee combat uh, oh so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked I'm not getting my ass kicked yet bro oh yeah oh I'm about to though God, dude. Look, I don't rage quit often. But I am. I am getting there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. This is definitely some RPG survival not a not a first person looting shooter game like i kind of assumed it was i've never seen bots like these before am i safe up here very dangerous in melee combat so that's why i'm getting my ass kicked Oh my gosh, dude. service rooms major one of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there yeah the truth is out there I've never seen bots like these before Bro, that was ridiculous. So, he's vulnerable to shock. Not not very much, but just just enough, just enough. Um uh, No. Oh, I didn't want you to take it out, you idiot. Oh, he's got he's got too much for you, bro.
Oh my god. Oh my god. That was driving me insane. What's going on with you, bro? Found a foot. Really a whole leg, really. Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his alpha connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique. And its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his Alpha Connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the Connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the ballerina twins? The way they move, they're so graceful and elegant. You have your leg back. Do yourself a pair thing. <laughs> cool tech. Oh, look, he just threw that leg down like, uh. Trash. Well, I'm glad we're done with that crap. Let's go to the next floor and repeat the cycle of death and destruction. Mostly me getting death and destruction on. Thin scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, right, down. Location, Lavalov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. That sounds very odd. Long... Oh. Crap. Wow. There's a big honking thing in here. And lots of little fuckers. No, man. Are we seriously doing this all over again? Oh, okay. Uh, I gotta kill y'all. What is this, a kid's game? That is a puzzle key. Nice. What's it for? I believe it activates some sort of process. Oh, you can't jump over a stupid shelf, bro. Give me health.
seriously not gonna get any help from you guys? Help? What am I supposed to do with this? Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I don't... Oh, here we go. Is it Snake? Is it Snake? I'm playing Snake, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. Something I can actually be good at. Whoa. I don't know. Boss isn't very good. God, dude. The edges are super hard to do. No. Oh my god. I don't want to be good at it, apparently. Why? Why? Why did? Why did it do all that? Bitch, you scared the ever living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. This looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. Great. More jerk wads. Now they got rockets. What? Why can't I get out? Don't tell me how to kill these a holes. Jesus. Are you kidding me? Hell. No, are you- why? Why is it- game hate me so much? Uh, 
ice cartridge, huh? Hurry up and die! Hurry up and die! Why won't I get held? Come down here so I can stab you. Anybody got any help? Jesus Christ. This guy. Bro, just die, Jesus. Oh my god. A anybody else? Anybody else? Huh? What's this? Please remember this when giving tours. The Varof is the crown jewel of Soviet heavy industry and the pride of the facility. When talking about it, don't forget to mention the following facts. The device saves about 10,000 man hours per month. One large rough costs as much as a rocket ship. The technology used to manufacture the device is so complex, the slightest miscalculation can render it unusable. A Varov can reach a depth equal to that of the Marana Trench after just two weeks of continuous operation. Varov technology has inspired by the inventor Tribolov's design for an underground ship. Varov prototypes were used as combat units in the war delivering powerful explosives behind enemy lines. They were given the code name Zmi, Zmi Garnich, a dragon from Slavic mythology. Smaller Barovs, which their builders effectively refer, refer to as Bravis, work beneath us day and night, expanding the facilities underground space. I'm not 100% sure about this last one, maybe we should tell visitors about the underground building. Keep your eyes peeled. Tour guides, please take note. Remember that unlike other devices manufactured by the facility, Barovs are not sent abroad. But don't focus on this and try to avoid related topics if you can. By the same token, watch visitors very carefully and don't let them examine the device too closely or for too long. Photography is strictly prohibited. When dealing with the foreign delegation, distract them with a game. Show them slides of projects completed by Barovs and make sure you don't give them time to examine the device directly. Do not provide direct answers to questions of a technical nature. I mean... It's a giant snake with a bunch of mine drills to it. What's, what's, what's there to be technical about? Now can I leave now or am I still stuck in here? There we go. Stupid door. Stupid... Charles, why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within the collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind. Perhaps so, Comrade Major. What do you mean, perhaps? Dr. Sechenov wanted equality for everyone. There can be no question of that. But consider this. The Alpha Connector existed from the very beginning. Alright, um, hmm, 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 words, no good. Son of a bitch, you scared the ever-living fuck out of me. That no. Well, whatever, I got the arm. Oh. Let's go find the rest.
Bro, this is BS, man. I don't know. Alright, whatever. Alright guys, that's the end of the episode. I've been your host, HK1990, and this has been HK1990 Gaming, right here on YouTube. Uh, this game is like, stupid annoying. Um, <laughs> it's, oh, Dark Souls annoying, okay? Dark, Dark, from software. I'm pretty sure this is like the Russian version of, of Dark Souls. It's not a Russian game, that's not the point. Point is, screw this game. As soon as we're done, get it out of here. Alright, <laughs> until next time, like, comment, subscribe. And be ready to play.